Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Aries, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages, source, your God, and angels, and your ancestors have here for you today. Shout out to the beautiful beautiful soul family i appreciate each and every one of you all thank you so much for your continuous love and support and welcome aquas oh aquas who is this A aquarius all right aries is there aquarius here that you all may be exchanging energies with that came up out the blue that came up out of <laughs> literally out of nowhere we clearly know that we're speaking with the realms okay so aqua Aquarius may be very significant for that to come out the way that it did as I was trying to get ready to get into your energies here, Aries, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Sounds like spirit is already ready to talk, Aries, okay? Be sure to like, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome and adjust your notification bell, Aries, for when I go live on this platform as well. All right, so no further ado, Rams. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see about this person here that is on your mind, that is so anxious and eager to talk here. Let's see what they have to say. Somehow this person may be rushing in, talking to you unexpectedly, or wanting to reach out to you unexpectedly here, okay? But let's see what's going on. <clears throat> wow, yeah, look at that. The Eight of Staffs, aka the Eight of Wands. You have communication coming in here, okay? This could be from somewhere at a distance from you. This could be within another city, another state, another country here. There is some type of communication that's coming in. This could be coming in from a fire sign as well. We have Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy here. But there's definitely some communication coming in. And it's going to come in fairly quickly here. The Eight of Wands talks about fast movement, fast communication, uh, fast information that I feel like will adjust or help establish here a opportunity for you two to be able to communicate to here and in your future. So let's see exactly what this here is, Aries. Wow, we have the Eight of Swords here. Okay, I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands. Okay, this here indicates that this again is someone who is being victorious, successful victory so this person is being shown as having a lot of attention they definitely get very admired for whatever it is that they do and i also feel like some of you all as well aries this is how they see you as in you definitely get a lot of the um attention maybe in your community or whatever it is that you may do okay this person just also just is inspired of you and they see that you could be very victor victorious and be very in your energy of your being bold and confident and you know just getting the job done is what i'm picking up here so just observing you in this energy this person is very attracted to you we don't have nothing out here but fire elements sagittarius leo and aries but this person here is very attracted to you. They're very so much wanting to communicate you and just kind of express themselves, open up here, um, feeling to just telling you everything about how they feel. So let's see what else about this person. Yeah, look at that. The star card. Okay, so yeah, now that's that Aquarius energy. I just realized... <laughs> I just realized as I picked that card up, Aries, that the star card is actually the Aquarius energy. So that's definitely what Spirit was trying to inform me um, at the beginning of your reading here. So this here is an energy of, you know, healing, being able to overcome those obstacles and challenges from their past here. So this is what I feel like this person is going to be coming towards you here and communicating with you. Um, as well, Aries, on behalf of their behavior or the way that they think they want things to be able to go with you too, as far as giving even exchange. This person has definitely done a lot of healing here. So if some of y'all haven't heard from this person, okay, it's because this person was trying to heal and get themselves together. Here's just what I feel. 
Wow. And as soon as I said that, yeah, look, we got the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is how this person um, is in the energy of how they feel and how they are looking for for this connection between you two here to be more intimate, to be more on a level spiritually where this person can understand you and you can be able to understand this person here. Wow, let's clarify here these six of wands. I'm loving it. Clarify the six of wands, please, girl. Clarify the six of wands. Clarify the six of wands. Thank you. Wow, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to put in the work. Like, not only do they want to bring in this ace of cups energy for a new beginning of a love offer, but they're literally putting in the work. They're not just around saying what they want to do with you, Aries. They are literally taking action. Okay. Wow. So let's see what else. What else do you guys? We got the five of wands. More fire element here. Again, this person could be a fire sign. Some of y'all, this person here, Aries, could be an earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. Others of y'all, this person could be a water sign here. They could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. But the five of wands here is what this person, again, Aries, I feel like was transitioning from with these, with these different energies here. This is what was in their head about. This is why they maybe wasn't communicating with you because they had to heal from these past situations or circumstances here from this person's past, okay? But I do see now in the future, I do see what this person actually, actually, excuse me, wanting to make this relationship or this connection with you work, okay? I thought this person just knew that they had a lot of healing, a lot of things to do in order to chop, close that chapter and move forward towards a new relationship or the new connection here, okay? Wow, Aries. Well, that definitely makes sense because with that five of wands showing up here and then we got the whole ace card showing that this person has been through a healing phase and this is what spirit is clarifying you know maybe this person was involved with multiple people maybe they was in a third party situation i don't know but this is someone that definitely has involved from that evolved excuse me from that type of lifetime okay they're no longer on in that energy and they're ready to move forward so let's see here wow Yeah, look at that. I just mentioned how they were ready to move forward to your Aries, okay? We got, I'm packing my bags and I know what I want. Yeah, this person definitely understands what's going on. This person definitely is ready to pack their bags. They're like, forget that. I'm not finna waste any more time. I know what I want, Aries, and that is you, okay? I know what I want you. So they're definitely giving me confident vibes that this person is definitely confident in themselves. They're definitely confident in this relationship here, okay? And they're definitely just looking forward to a new beginning here with you. Yeah, look at that. We got no more third parties. I watch you online, okay? So this person definitely has um, eyes for you, Aries. They definitely have been putting in the work with the Eight of Pentacles and definitely have been packing their bags so they can remove themselves from whatever situation or circumstance that they were in in the past because I feel like that's the right thing for this person to do instead of open up a chapter relationship with you and then still have to close out the relationship from their past, okay? Wow, Aries. Again, don't forget this resonated for you and gave you confirmation on this person and their energy. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe. I definitely look forward to getting to meeting you all doing our Awaken Tarot live streams. And if you would love to book a personal reading, Aries, my email details is down below. All right. I thank you. I appreciate you. And I definitely look forward to your next reading, Aries. Bye-bye.